Transform in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Hello there. In this video, you will learn to transform in Adobe Photoshop CS6. We have an image here. Let's go to Edit and choose Free Transform. We could also do it by commanding Control T. As you have done the free transform, we can move the image around. We can resize the image as well. If you press and hold shift key, the image will resize proportionally. If you press and hold control key, it will let you skew the image. This is how you can rotate the image. The image will rotate considering the anchor point. As the anchor point here in central, it rotates like this. Now if you change the position of the anchor point, it will rotate from that position. In Photoshop, transform is used to scale, rotate, skew and just distort the perspective of any graphic you are working with in general. This tutorial will teach you how to use transform to adjust your images. Scaling graphics. One of the most basic transformations Photoshop is capable of scaling a graphic. Scaling allows you to enlarge or shrink a graphic around a reference point. To scale a graphic, we go to Edit, Transform, Scale. A set of handles will appear around our selected elements in the document such as layer or shapes. By moving any one of these handles, we can adjust the size of the object. To apply transformation, hit enter. Constraining proportions while scaling. Often times, you will find it necessary to constrain the proportions of your objects when scaling. This can easily be achieved by holding shift while dragging a transformation handle. You can additionally scale from the center reference point by holding alter or combine the two by holding shift and alter at the same time while scaling. Rotating Objects in Photoshop To rotate an object in Photoshop, go to Edit, Transform, Rotate. Handles will appear as they did with a scaling transform, but instead of dragging one of these, go just outside of the object until you see a curved arrow rotate icon. At this point, simply drag left or right to rotate the selected object. Once again, you must finish applying the transformation by pressing enter. Be precise with your rotations. You can rotate in 15 degree increments with this useful little shortcut. While you are rotating an object, simply hold down the shift button. Skew, Distort and Perspective Transformations The next three transformations are all similar because they are all controlled by dragging handles. That is not to say that they are used to do the same thing. They simply all operate in the same manner. 
you can apply a skew, distort or perspective transformation from edit, transform. Skew. Skew transformations slant objects either vertically or horizontally. With skew selected, if you click and drag any of these side handles, you will tilt the image while keeping the sides parallel. Holding Alter as you drag a side handle will skew the image from its center, moving the opposite side at the same time but in the opposite direction. Distort Distort transformations allow you to stretch an image in any directions freely. With distort selected, click on a corner handle and simply drag it around in any direction. It's similar to skew but with complete freedom of movement. Holding alter as you drag the corner will move the diagonally opposite corner in the opposite direction at the same time Perspective The perspective transformation allows you to add perspective to an object. In perspective mode, dragging a corner handle either horizontally or vertically causes the opposite corner to move in the opposite direction. Here I am dragging the top left corner inward horizontally. Wrapping an object. The wrap transformation is quite a bit different compared to the other transformations. The entire shape of the object can be modified, making this transformation useful for several different effects. To use a wrap transformation, go to Edit, Transform, Wrap. A mesh will appear over your object that you can adjust by dragging control points lines or any other area inside of it. You can additionally apply a preset wrap from the options bar. Thank you and that was all about transformation in Adobe Photoshop CS6.